And we're back. So I found this reference of a cow. Let me uh, actually close my <laughs> Chrome there. I went googling. So this is actually perfect. It's like pretty much the angle I want and everything. Even has a little tag on the ear. I actually think I might have put the tag on the wrong side. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's different for every farmer. With the little 51 on the So something that I kind of wanted to venture away with on trying human was to not draw the animals so cartoony. So this is good for me. As long as it doesn't look too hippo-ish. We used to have cows on our property when I was a little girl, my parents rented out a field to a local farmer. And we had two cows out in the field. They were sweet as the dickens. We used to, um, We used to go out and feed them our scraps and stuff from, from dinner. Not like meat, but, <laughs> you know, we weren't raising, like, uh, cannibalistic cows or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, we'd go out there and we'd give them our... our old apples and cobs from corn and stuff. Oh, and they were just the sweetest things. So this cow comes back <laughs> later and I wanted to see. So there it doesn't have horns, but I guess you could argue that like maybe the reptoids like yank them off. And I'm sure there's somebody out there who's like really good at drawing cows and they're going to see this and be like, oh. But yeah, so we'd go out and give the cows little treats and things. And then we would eat them. <laughs> they would be slaughtered. Not by us, but <laughs> by the uh, by the owner. So, like part part of our payment was some of the meat from the cows. But I tell you what, those cows had great lives <laughs> on our property. So they were spoiled rotten for cows. Anyway, it was two cows per like an acre and a half of land, which is a lot for a cow. But they had a stream and trees and stuff because that part of the fence went down to the woods.
so much of cow is just like muscle. <laughs> So I guess I should put the tag back on. Oh, funny story though. So for a long time, the, the fence around that property was not electric. And we frequently turned it off, actually, uh, if, like later once it did become electric. But a lot of the fence was just wood. And cows, man, like if they want to go somewhere, they're going. And they will just bash their way through anything in their, their path. And there was this particular area of the fence that ran through like, um, this, this is like wattle. And, okay. there was this particular area of the fence that went through like a swampy area and the the stakes when it rained a lot and stuff would just get weak and loose and so the cows would just be like all right well i'm just gonna push this over and i remember one weekend i woke up it was like eight in the morning and i went downstairs my parents weren't up yet and there was a cow standing on our porch like looking in our living room windows and i was like mom <laughs> But we went out there and just kind of wrestled the cow back into the field and uh <laughs> and then it got out like a million more times. I don't even know if it was the same cow. It might have been a different one from a different year, but I remember the cows got out pretty frequently, even after we got an electric fence. They just I don't know, they had like cow business to attend to in our yard. But we had for years and years after, we had these huge like um, pothole type <laughs> things from the cows like stepping there. Like you could see um, where they had just like, our yard was really soft too. And they had would just stomp through. They just be like, I'm a cow. I'm just gonna put my big old feeties here and You know what? Everybody's all posy posy. I should make Kwaski more like Actually, so Magnus, oh gosh, I messed up, I think. I think I, whatever, the longest can be there, I don't care. I wanted the smiles to, like, go in order, but then I realized it's, like, quasi Ursula as long as Magnus, and then it's Priscilla's quasi Magnus long as, it's all messed up, whatever, I don't care. <laughs>
So let's make them a teeny bit smaller and scoochy them over. So I can Magnus' big old butt in here. Longus just looks confused. He's just like... So... I'll give him a cigarette. I can't remember. Was this... Okay, no. I was... Oh, no, 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 no. I remember they said something like in that scene about the cow's bladder being filled with cigarette butts or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. You have to go read the scene again. I, I, cause I was like, was the head filled with them? Like, but I just remember cause they were like, we, you know, the, the majestic who come later to kind of clean up this mess. Um, this was my take on cattle mutilation. It's like a little nod to it, I guess. But, uh, which this is nothing like a cattle mutilation. They're not this grizz grizzly of a process. Well, depends. I don't know. The cow probably wouldn't say that. But anyway, um, but I knew there was like something weird that they did to the cow. And that was one of the things is they put like, they used the bladder like an ashtray. Because my reptoids are classy. But yeah, just for information's sake, real cattle mutilations, there is no blood and no organs. The, the bodies are dry as bone. And the cuts are like, like lacy, like that. Like they, they have like patterns to them. Like, you know those like crafting scissors that you take and you like, um, like when you want to cut out fancy paper for your scrapbook or whatever. Um, that's kind of the, the edging that you get at, at, during a cattle mutilation. That's what you see anyway. And a lot of times predators won't touch the animal after that. Like after a mutilation. Poor cow. Oh my god, this cow. I feel so bad for it. It's one of the nicest cows I've ever drawn to. Don't need that reference anymore. So we'll put some trees back here. Then uh, there's going to be the sunrise. It's going to be back here, so I should put um, I actually don't know like how far outside of New York City you have to go before you get to farmland. I yeah, I don't know. Because this is supposed to be within viewing distance of the island, so I don't really know. I 
not that you could like see the island from this field or anything, but I'm just saying like because in the previous scenes you could like there was like a road and yeah, yeah, okay. That is good enough for me. I hope my cow whew, is beautiful enough. Let's actually just move this for a teeny tiny bit so you can see they're a little neater in the panel. Yeah. Mucho improvement. Do you want to eat that cow? I feel so bad for that cow. I also want to put some like other like hissing and crunching and other sound effects in here. I also want to make sure that Gracilis's wings stay um, above the sound effect of the, the dying cow. <laughs> Um, just because it's important to me. Uh, but yeah, this is Longus's tail, Magnus's wings, or er, Kwaski's tail, and then Gracilis's wings. So, yeah, I guess they would detransform to eat. Probably uses up a lot of energy, too. The circuits are, like, really dependent on their energy levels and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so this is ending a little more abruptly than... I was originally planning to. I thought I had. I thought the cow would take me like the whole half an hour to draw. I don't know why I thought that. Bad time management. Um, so I'm actually gonna um, stop this recording. I guess this one's gonna be kind of short because I want to start inking this, and I don't want to talk while I ink because <laughs> I'm a bum. I want to watch a movie or something. So. Anyway, uh, I hope this was educational in the drawings of cows, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!